If you've never used a pressure cooker before, I can't wait to show you how easy it is. We love using pressure cookers at the test kitchen because they can actually reduce your cooking time by about 50% on most foods, sometimes even more. So we use it for everything. We love to do proteins like beef, chicken and fish. You can do beans and legumes and even vegetables. And don't worry, if you're scared about cooking under pressure, this is not your grandmother's pressure cooker. It's super safe and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So let's start by making some artichokes. Now here we go, this is the Fagor 10 quart pressure cooker. And I love it because it's actually big enough where you can do all kinds of things like beans and braises and things like that. But it's also got this great steamer basket. So to unlock it, I'll just pull that back and I'm gonna take off the lid. And normally artichokes would take you about 45 minutes. When you put them under high pressure, it's seven to nine minutes, it's incredible. So I'm just gonna put in the little steamer basket. I've got two cups of water, but one thing you wanna be uh, really safe with is that you never wanna use less than a half a cup of liquid in the pressure cooker. And you never want your liquid and food to come up more than two thirds full. So I've got my water in there and I've got my artichokes and I just like to trim the tops off, a little bit of the stem, and I put them in lemon, uh, lemon water to acidulate them. That just really helps keep their gorgeous color. All right. Put a third in. All right. So now to seal it. This is how easy it is. There's a little arrow right here, and I'm gonna line that with the arrow that's on the base of the pan. And then listen for this click. It's locked into place. You can see all of these right here, and this is two for high pressure, one for low pressure. This is when we're ready to release the steam afterwards, and this is just kind of, you're at neutral, right? So here we go, let's turn it on. We're gonna watch this valve, and when the valve starts to come up, that's when your time starts. So I'll start my timer then for about nine minutes for the artichokes. And once it's up, I'll turn this cooktop down to low, just to maintain the pressure. Now I'm setting it to two since I'm putting it under high pressure. You guys see how it just came up to pressure? So the yellow button's gonna stay up there and I'll turn the cooktop down to low, the low flame just to maintain that. And now's when you set your buzzer. Got my timer right here. We'll give it nine minutes. So our artichokes are done and I'll show you how to release the steam. There are two ways I like to do it. You can actually just let it release naturally and give it time and take it off the burner, or you can use the quick release button and speed up the process. So first I wanna cut the heat on my cooktop, and then you can see the quick release button. I'm just gonna to try to stay away, see that? And there it goes. We wanna wait for all the steam to escape and the valve to go down before I even attempt to open the pot. Coolest thing though, is this, it's still under pressure, it won't let you open it anyhow. Did you see it? The valve went down, which means it's now safe to open the pot. Now, of course, you would never wanna put your face directly over it anyhow, just in case there's a little extra steam being released, but watch this. Click it, turn it, and there are my gorgeous artichokes. Nine minutes, so simple. They look fantastic. I'm just gonna let them drain a little bit before I put them on my platter. Oh my gosh, I can tell already by picking them up that they're really well cooked. All right, they've drained. It's just a really simple presentation. You don't need much more than a little fresh lemon, some melted butter. Be good to go. One of my favorite uses for this larger size pressure cooker is to do short ribs or any kind of meat for that matter. I love doing things that are tougher cuts of meat that would normally take you hours to braise. In the pressure cooker, it's only gonna take me about 45 minutes. So I've already browned them, and it's really great that you can use this same pressure cooker as your initial pan. And now, just like a regular braise, I'm gonna saute some aromatics. Start with some onion. You can see actually I'm getting all of those caramelized bits off the side of the pot as well. So we're gonna get even more flavor. A little salt and pepper. 
I always like to season as I go. So my onions are softened and I'm just gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. It's gonna give some depth of flavor. Now watch, just like I would with a regular braise. Add my red wine. Some chicken stock. And then I'll nestle my short ribs in, cover them with some carrots and some herbs before I put it under pressure. These smell so good already. So cool in that a lot of these things that you would traditionally need to do the night before if you were entertaining or the morning of, you can do right before you wanna have a meal. So I could do these for dinner guests in under an hour. There we go, so these are nestled in. Let me get my carrots. And you can see too, I'm using more than a half cup of liquid, which you always need to be aware of. And I'm not letting everything come up more than two thirds. So let's put it under pressure again. Lid goes on with the arrows lined up. Wait for the click. I've already got it on high pressure again and that's what I want. So as we see the pressure valve start to come up, as soon as it's up, I'm gonna turn this down to low and set my timer for 45 minutes. Our ribs should be ready, but before I open the lid, I wanna show you how safe this is. I'll cut the heat, but see how I talked about the fact that if you try to open this and it's still under pressure, it won't let you open it? So here I'm pulling on it and it won't release. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the quick release again. There we go, the valve dropped. Can't wait to see these short ribs. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I can't believe it's only been 45 minutes. They look amazing. They look really tender, like they'll fall off the bone. Incredible. So now I've just made some polenta and we'll plate them family style. Oh my gosh, look at these. One of the cool things about this is you can treat it just like a regular stock pot. So if I take my short ribs out and I want to reduce the sauce at all, you can just reduce it right in here before you drizzle it over the top. It's like amazing. You can certainly serve these off the bone if you want. Some of these are already falling off the bone. They're so tender. Just depends on how you'd like your presentation. Maybe I'll take this one off too. Gorgeous. You can see. It took only 45 minutes for this to cook under pressure where normally it would take me a few hours. So quick and easy.